Yo, 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 it's Ozzy Kid here. Today I got an amazing fight with my guy Cody. This is a super clean fight. There's literally like no cheese at all in this match. And Cody's got a really nice clean style. So I have to give him credit where it's due. And I'm also going to leave his YouTube channel in the description below. Everyone go subscribe to his channel, hit his post notifications and check out his music as well because he does music and his music music is actually sick he's actually a good musician good musician as well and i think he's got a ufc4 channel and a music channel he's got two separate channels so i'll i'll leave both of them in the description you can check out both of them but anyways let's, let's get into the fight hit him with a nice cross there nice little body straight and that's something I was doing a lot. I was going jab body straight. Well, obviously, you need to throw it at the right time. Make sure you don't get hit by the uppercut. He gets me there with a nice, nice body kick. I go cross hook body straight. I was doing that a lot as well. I'm doing a nice little jab body hook there. Sneak that in. And then something like you see how he just did a double jab there. Eventually, I'm eventually I'm gonna catch on catch on to that double jab and start slipping it. But I'm gonna do that later. And then there he throws a head kick. So you see, like when you when you block a head kick, you have a you can throw that lunging hook and hit them with it afterwards. And that lunging hook is I'm not gonna lie, I think that lunging hook is pretty overpowered, you know, because like if 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 I block any kick, I can hit them with a lunging hook, like and they can't block it. And if and especially if I make them whiff, if I make them whiff their kick and I throw the lunging hook, then it's gonna do, then it's gonna do a big amount of damage. So that lunging hook is actually crazy. I'm not gonna lie. And then he throws a nice little uppercut there. I try going for the I try go for the body kick and he closes the distance. It's me with a few shots. There you go, another double jab there. Try to hit him with a body straight, but I'm out of range. He whiffs that uppercut, try to catch him with a body kick, but he moves out of the range. Block his, block his uh, body straight, hit him with a nice uppercut there. And I would say that I'd say Rak Rakmanov's actually a good pick, you know, that this guy's actually solid. He's got good good punches. Uh he's got he's got good kicks, like and he's good like he's he's basically good everywhere, good on the ground, good on the feet. So definitely like a solid pick. And he's you know he's pretty tall as well. And I you know, I like I like having length in, in this game, I'm not gonna lie. It's actually good and then there we show each other some respect. A nice another another nice little glove touch there. Not hit him with a nice little body straight again. And something he's gonna do is like I noticed him I think he only did it once though, like he uh, after I threw the jab he would do a little sidestep. Which makes sense. Because obviously if I'm going for a jab body straight and then you sidestep after my jab you're gonna sidestep the body straight. So so uh as soon as I saw him doing that I was like okay I need to throw like jab jab body hook or jab uh fucking body kick or something so that i catch him sidestepping and that gets me there with a nice rock gets me with a dirty cross i catch him with a jab and miss the body kick again missing the body kick missing that body kick quite a lot hey with a nice another nice body straight there pop him pop him there with the jab he catches me with a clean body kick there nice range go for the body hook and that's another thing that's another thing I noticed as well. But I only noticed it once, like like um you see like let's say let's say they throw like a front kick here yeah? and then they'll have a frame where they're basically stuck, you get what I mean? Usually like let's say someone throws a body uh, a front kick, I'll go for a body hook and then they usually throw an uppercut and then I can and then I can slip it and counter from that. But what I did with Cody here yeah, is uh he threw off like a front kick or whatever. I threw a body uh, body hook and then he threw a hook. So that basically means if I threw that body hook and I slipped afterwards, I would have went into his hook. You get what I'm trying to say? 
so basically like once you see something like that that means that uh, you have to go for the body hook and then lean back yeah I'm trying to say because because he's throwing a hook that means you can lean back rather than then slip in to the side and you can catch him with a counter like that and there he whiffs a front kick I catch him with a nice little teep to the body and again I catch him and see you see that lads I block that head kick and then I have a free opening to hit him with a lunging hook Him there with a nice little, nice little body hook there, nice body kick there. But you see, this match is gonna get like really intense, you know. Like, this match was super, super, super close. Like, it's crazy how close it was. Catch him there with another clean body kick that was nice. Catch him with a nice, another nice body kick there. Hit him with a nice body hook. Catches me with a clean body uppercut there. And then that catches me with some nice body hooks. He's faking the front kick. Gotta watch out for that front kick. Let me show each other respect again. Have to give respect to this guy, mate. It's respect where it's due, this guy. This guy has definitely put a lot of time into his craft. No, oh, that's sneaking a nice little body hook there. Catches me clean with two body hooks, but I rock him there. Catch me with a nice little knee. It's a clean body kick, that was nice. Beautiful stuff. Catch him with a one two as, as he's entering the pocket. And then there I get caught by that head kick. I should have blocked that to be honest. That is that head kick was mad telegraphed. I was really telegraphed. And I still didn't block it. So that was that was a big that was a stupid mistake from me, to be honest. Catch me with a clean, nice little body straight there. Then I catch him with a clean uh, jab uppercut. This is why I like Cody, mate. He he mixes it up nicely. He goes high and he goes low. And like, you know he's got a good understanding of his range and, and you know that sort of stuff. So uh, and fighting fighting him is fun. Definitely a fun experience. Catches me with a nice cross as I'm going for the body hook. And then there he catches me with that trip. Which was fucking... Which was detrimental for me, mate. Uh, and then he catches me with a cleat. Oh, and he catches me with two dirty body kicks there. That was nice. But yeah, but how am I getting caught by that trip, mate? What's going on? If you get, if you get tripped, you lose a lot of stamina. So getting tripped is actually... Fucking... I, I hate it. I don't like it, mate. It's a bad experience. So you see right now, now my health is super low, mate. Now, now like I said, it's getting mad intense. And there he catches me with a clean body kick as I'm leaning away. But then, and when then he fucking fumbles the bag. Goes for a body hook, I go lead uppercut, body hook, and then I go lead hook. And it was a beautiful finish. I'm not going to lie, I thought I was definitely going to lose, you know, to be honest, but. Even if I lost, I still would have uploaded it because fucking I, like, I have to give him credit. You know what I'm trying to say? Like at the end of the day, even if I win or if I if I lose, you have to give him credit where it's due. But still, a great fight, and I have to say, GG in. Level, what loss I get to know, stuck on my chase at all He's on my level